Hi guys, Larry Feldman again. In this lesson, we're going to write a Python program to implement an algorithm to calculate right, left, and trapezoidal uh, Riemann sums. And I'm not going to um, go into any depth on the derivation of these formulas that can be found uh, elsewhere, but um, I do want to explain how to write the Python program to implement the formulas that, that you see on the screen. So uh, just notice that uh, the right sum is calculated using this complicated formula. The left sum is implemented like this. And the trapezoidal sum is just the average of the right and left sums. So um, let me just clean this up a little bit. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is import the sys library. And then we're going to tell the user what the program does. This program calculates right, left, and trapezoidal sums. Now we're going to define an array with our x values. Uh, in other words, we're in essence, defining x, y points on a, on a plane, but we're going to separate the x and y values into, into separate arrays. So let's say we have x values of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and y values of 0, 1, 4, 9, 16, and 25. In other words, What's happening here is y is equal to x squared. Now let's do a little error checking. If the length of x vals is not equal to the length of y vals, obviously we have a problem here. Uh, we need the same number of x and y values. So we're going to print the number of x and y values must be the same. And then we will exit the program like that. Okay, now we will uh, create a variable called right sum and we will initialize it to zero. Left sum equals zero as well. And then we create a for loop, for i in range from 1 to the length of x vals, incrementing by 1, write sum, the new value of write sum equals the old value of write sum plus y vals at i times parentheses x vals at i minus x vals at i minus 1. Oops. End parentheses. Left sum equals the old value of left sum plus y vals at i minus 1 times parentheses x vals at i minus x vals at i minus 1. And then we've got, after that's all done, after the for loop ends, we have trap sum equals the average of the left and right sums. So we say left sum plus right sum divided by 2. And then all we need to do is print to the user the answers. 
the write sum is comma write sum. The left sum is left sum. And lastly, the trapezoidal sum is trap sum. Let's run this and see what we get. So in our shell, it says this program calculates right, left, and trapezoidal sums. The right sum is 55. The left sum is 30. The trapezoidal sum is 42 and a half. And uh, using calculus, which I, I won't go into here, the exact area under the curve is uh, 41.6 repeating. So uh, we get a pretty good approximation. Now, if we want to see how, how well this works for uh, a simpler function. Let's go out a little further here with the x vals. Let's go up to 10. And let's say we're graphing y equals 6. So that's a horizontal line extending from 0 to 10. So we're going to need 6 here. Uh, and actually, uh, since it goes from 0 through 10, that's 11 total values. So we need to do that here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Let's save it and run. And, and think about this. If you graph y equals 6, and, and you uh, try and calculate the area under that function from 0 through 10. That, that looks like a rectangle with a base of 10 and a height of 6. So we would expect to get an area of 10 times 6 or 60. And notice that's exactly what we get on the right and left. We get the right sum is 60, the left sum is 60, and the trapezoidal sum is 60 as well. And let's just test our... Um, error trap here. I'll remove one of the y values and I'll run it and uh, as expected we get this error message the number of x and y values must be the same. So that worked. Let's put that 6 back in here run it again and and we get 60. How about something a little bit less uh, generic than a rectangle? How about how about a triangle? So these values just need to um, be identical. I'll explain why in a second. So this function is y equals x. And that looks like a triangle when graphed. In other words, we have points 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, etc. So this creates a triangle with a base of 10 and a height of 10. And the area of a triangle is one half base times height, so we would expect an area of one half of 10 times 10 or 50. So let's run this and notice that the right sum uh, is 55, the left sum is 45, and the trapezoidal sum is, is exactly 50. So uh, this, this seems to work uh, pretty well. And when I say pretty well, I mean that the values seem reasonable. So that's it for now. I uh, hope that was helpful. If you have questions, let me know, and I will talk to you next time. Thanks.